Oh, sorry. Hello, reptile lovers, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Slim, and this is Woody. And today we have finished all the foam work, and we are talking about how I will cover all my foam stuff. I call it the Universal Rockway. And if you want to know how to build foam rocks like this, really durable, indestructible, water resistant, you can put it in every color you want, you can do every structure you want. It's a cheap way, it's a super fast way. It's it's a universal rockway. And if you want to know how to do this, look the video to the end and we will talk about it. And now I want to talk about a really, really serious thing. Uh, if you know from my first video, I started this channel just to get the chance to maybe get a uh, animal keeper to think about their enclosures and how they keep their animals but this the only way how this could be is it's, it is YouTube it only uh, function if people they watch my channel click the subscribe button and the notification bell I saw my statistics and I see there are a lot of people watching my channel but only a small amount presses the subscribe button so I really appreciate it if you guys press this button so you won't miss a part or a new series of this build and I think it's a it's like a win-win situation Subscribing doesn't cost anything, it, it doesn't hurt. Uh, you won't miss a part of my build and more people all over the world could get the chance to follow me on this right now still uh, uh, real-time build. So I would really appreciate it. Thank you and now we start the video. Thank you. This whole day was all about cutting and heating and hot wiring all the structure into foam. So this is you can you can do everything you want. Try to get a vision of what you want to build. Try to get a picture in your mind. If something went wrong, no problem. Rip it apart. Uh, try to cut it again so take your time and try to do your best out of the project Wow, look at this mess. I just carved all the edges, make it smooth. Looks like, try to let it look a little bit like nature. So, here over here, look at all this mess. So, all the edges I carved. And now I have to use the spray foam and try to spray it on to let it look a lot more nature. And then after applying and drying, I have to carve it again. Okay. Thank you. 
first layer of foam is ready. <laughs> yes, it looks like a tree bark. Down here are the roots. Okay. It's pretty nice. Okay, now I want to cut the foam pieces. What do I use? I use a razor blade like this. I use my hot wire and this heat gun. Oh, let us start to curve this, this pieces and it, hopefully it looks a little bit naturalistic afterwards. So first of all, I always cut the edges like this a little bit. So afterwards with the heat gun you can do a lot of more structure parts but for the beginning it's always good to use your knife and cut a little bit of the edges off. Now we can put more structure into these roots. So, okay. Let us have a look how I want to do this. See how it melts through? That's so easy. And after this melts through this foam, the foam is really hard after it because it melts the surface. So maybe like this. Like I said, just trying Okay, back to work. Let's carve some mangrove trees. So the first piece is prepared with this heat gun. And you see the total difference. You get nice structure. And it's really hard compared to this stuff over there. Look at this. Look at this. Here it looks like like this. And over there, like this. 
And now heating up the mangrove tree. Let's do it. Here I want to show you how easy it is to put all the plates together and finally after I have covered all the stuff I will glue it in with aquarium silicone. Look how easy and fast it is. was a really long day but I think the whole work was worth it so let us look what we have done today so I finished everything I carved it I used the heat gun I built this mangrove tree look at this bark structure look at the roots down here Yes, and like I told you, follow your ideas, your theme. My theme was to build a mangrove tree with all the roots coming down here. Maybe roots like this one go up to the water bowl. Yes, try to, to put a picture of your landscape into your head and try to build it. Yes, and all this, like I told you in the beginning of this video, I will, hopefully we can see it here, cover in this stuff. And this method I will use is a different that most of the people use. Most people use this, I don't really know the exact names of it, they use this cement stuff, they put several layers of cement on it, wait 12 hours for, for drying, then put another layer, then paint it, and then put maybe epoxy and silicon, and then cover it with peat moss or whatever. And this method is way easier, ultra light, it's indestructible, it's, I, I call it the universal rockway because I watched their videos and I would love to buy this stuff here, but it's impossible. So, and I was thinking about how they do this, how they do their builds. And I came up with an idea, <laughs> stupid, but I built off-road cars for many, many years. And all of my off-road cars I cover with, yeah, with, with the stuff and after I connected, I got connected to the company who built this stuff. If this stuff uh, usable for animal keeping, they sent me a lot of uh, letters and protocols and uh, that there is absolute no problem to use it with animals if you use it right. If you, if you uh, let this stuff dry, but I want uh, I want to do a whole series 
of how to, to use this stuff, what this stuff is, how you can apply it. And this is only my idea of it. You can totally use all these old methods, no problem. But I will do this one here and I will show you in the next video how it works and how it looks. Yeah, and I say thank you for watching, stay safe and we see us on the next one.